as you were. Phil's in Swanish. Phil, what would you like to say? Oh, morning, James. Yeah, just a conundrum for you. Let's fast forward to no deal and we have to have a hard border. In who's, the border guards, whose uniform would, would they be wearing? I've no idea. Well, we can't. Can't be British because we signed an international agreement to the border open. No, but the minute the, the border Irish exists, can't. the minute the, the border Irish can't exists, because they signed an international. Oh, I see. It's one of those calls where you've already go, you've already got the answer to your question, and you're not really interested well, in hearing what I have to say. Well, go on, tell me. Okay, go I said on, I, I, I don't Who's know, uniform? but the minute that the border exists, the Good Friday Agreement is already broken. Who's going to enforce it? No, the minute it exists, the agreement is broken. Who's, so your question about uniforms... I just said it. I don't know. Your question about uniforms is based upon the presumption well, that... Well, well, no, all right, Phil, you just talk, be us. Go on, you just be clever. It can't be us, can it? Why you, not, Phil? You've, you've agreed, because we've signed an international no, but agreement... we've already broken that. Good Friday. We've already broken that the minute the border exists, Phil. No. Yes. The border only exists. A hard border only exists. There's a border there now. There's a different VAT in Ireland. There's all sorts of differences. There's a border there now. Yes, Phil. Different excise. Yes, and how, so how do they me, check people crossing that border? <laughs> well, if you if you watch anything, about five miles from either side of the border, especially in Ireland, have you ever been there? Yes, Phil. They pull you in. No, they don't, Phil. They do. OK. When did you last get pulled in by border guards in Ireland, Phil? <laughs> About three years ago. OK, what were you doing there? <laughs> I was visiting. Pardon? I was on holiday. And you got you got detained by border guards five miles from the border, Phil? Yes. OK. What uniforms were they wearing? I see inside the car. Irish. I right. was in Ireland. Oh, you were in Ireland and they pulled you over five miles from the border to search your car? Yeah. OK, yes. Phil. So you tell me... Phil, we both know you're fibbing, mate. Border, if there's a hard Phil, border... Phil, you come on the radio and you started fibbing, border. mate, and now you're going back to I the question... Fibbed. All right, Phil, you I haven't, haven't fibbed. fibbed. No, of course. What, did they find? what were they looking for in your car, Phil? <coughs> I've no idea. They didn't tell you? Absolutely no idea. They didn't tell you what Absolutely their grounds not. were for stopping you? They, 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 and they were border the people guards, were they? Over were Irish. They were border most guards. The people pulled... No, they were Irish police. Garda, then. Mm. Searched your car without telling you what they were looking for. They didn't. OK, Phil. Go and ask me the clever question so, again. So you tell me, <laughs> if there's a hard border, yes. who's, going, who's going to enforce it? Phil, borders get enforced on both sides, mate. Otherwise it's not a border. Well, it, well, it can't be, because we've signed an international agreement. And the minute the border we exists, we've broken that agreement, Phil. Well, Unfortunately, somebody's going to have to make the hard border. And it can't be Irish, and it can't be us, yes, because Phil. we've signed an agreement. Yes, but the border breaks the agreement, Phil. <laughs> oh, well. But who's going to enforce it? You can't... I mean, you can keep saying this. Yeah. It doesn't... I don't understand the point you think you're making, mate. Well, are, you, are you saying you, there won't be any can't... checks in Ireland, or that there will be checks in Ireland? <laughs> no, I'm telling you, there yes. can't be a hard border, unless... Mr. Juncker wants to send his troops. Oh, OK. <coughs> Which troops are they, Phil? Well, it, it's got to be... If if we've signed an international agreement yeah. that says we can't make that border hard and the Irish have signed an international agreement... Oh, excuse me. Yes. That's all right, Phil. You take care. Is he? Can we make sure he's all right, seriously? He, he, he sounded quite short of breath. Um, good grief.